The Free Speech Union is one of the most important organisations in the country. And the man behind it, Toby Young, is one of Britain's most brilliant minds. I am proud to be a member of a group that was set up to fight the causes of so many ordinary Brits who have found their lives turned upside down after being cancelled by the woke mob, often for holding views that the majority of the population actually agree with. But the key point about the FSU is that it doesn't matter what you think or how controversial your opinion is. As long as what you're saying or doing is legal, they will defend you. They take no position on the moral arguments themselves other than your right in a democratic society to think whatever you please and express those thoughts without facing career or financial ruin. It should actually, when you think about it, be the least controversial organisation in the country. But we know what's happened with the crackdown on free speech these past few years, exacerbated by MSM groupthink and big tech censorship, expressing very sensible viewpoints, for example, that uh, COVID lockdowns are more deadly than the virus, or the vaccines for COVID come with significant side effects, or that Meghan Markle isn't a very nice woman, expressing those views could now see you cancelled. This week, one of those American tech giants, PayPal, made the chilling decision to cancel the accounts of both the Free Speech Union and Toby Young. Yet PayPal, think about this for a second, doesn't believe an organisation set up to protect free speech has a right to exist. It would be farcical if it wasn't so serious, given the dominance of a company like PayPal when it comes to online payments. And this is the risk, I think, uh, with this march. I think it's a deranged march, actually, towards a cashless society where, for example, uh, you see the Canadian government freezing the bank accounts of those brave truckers. Here's how Toby Young himself explained this perilous situation to my colleague, Nigel Farage. I think it's a new low, Nigel. We're used to people expressing contentious political views being cancelled, deplatformed, demonetised. But to demonetise an organisation that merely defends people's right to express those views... Rather than giving an opinion. Rather than expressing those views itself, that's <laughs> a new low. I think what we're seeing, Nigel, is the emergence of a Chinese-style social credit system, except instead of the acceptable ideological dogma being enforced by the Chinese Communist Party, yeah. it's being enforced by woke capitalist corporations like PayPal. And it turns out it's not just the Free Speech Union who PayPal has cancelled. They did the same to us for them, the brilliant lobby group who did God's work speaking up for voiceless school children whose lives were shattered by unnecessary COVID lockdown. So this is what their founder, Molly Kingsley, told the brilliant Mark Dolan about PayPal's terrifying decision. We were, you know, we were nobodies and we don't pretend to be other, anything other than concerned parents. And, you know, Mark, it was really, really devastating, actually, because, you know, it, it, we don't have a lot of money anyway. So every penny really does count. And, you know, I would hope we can get over that. I would hope our supporters can stick with us. But you just think, oh, you know, really, really this now? And yeah, you know, I will freely, freely accept we may have offended people with that stance, but it was a valid position to take. And in a liberal democracy, we have to allow dissenting views into the public space. We have to. Campaign to boycott PayPal is gathering steam. But sadly, I don't think they give a damn. They're too big to care, too big to be held accountable. And this is why we need a much more fundamental discussion about the control the big tech giants have over British civil society before it's too late.